We heard all week long, create your own edge. Roughly translated into non-coach speak, that means find a reason to be excited because playing Kansas alone is not enough reason to be pumped up. You should beat them down. Ricky's giving me that look. Ricky's giving me that look. Not a good look for Case McCoy in the opening drive. That's an INT. Well, I'm going to tell you this. From a quarterback standpoint, you expect your receiver to come across that safety's face. I kind of put that on Deshae Johnson. Whoa. This one is not put on the mark, however, and Texas dodges a bullet. As that one is shanked, it's still 0-0. And then sometimes you just need the break, and Texas gets that. Running into the kicker, that's a first down. And Jackson Shipley was ready to pick it up from there. He started going with more tempo, and on third down on this drive, you see Jackson Shipley start to make those plays that you expected him to make, David. There's no question. When they get that man coverage, Shipley, he runs such good routes. He's got good hands. And obviously the whole Shipley to McCoy connection is, uh, is deadly. Look, great throw and catch here. Just got to not tear your, tear your knee up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They checked it's out his ankle. They looked at it, but he returned. Came back and in, yep. He had a ball game. And you see, when you're that athletic, though, it's, it's tough to keep the legs underneath you. Shipley getting checked out. But again, now we're in the second quarter. There's no score until on third and goal, Malcolm Brown gets number one. Yeah, good job by the offensive line, creating some space, and he walked in there untouched. No, oh, this is not how you help the cause, except if you're a Texas fan, and that certainly helps. Texas gets the ball back. What are they going to do? Malcolm Brown short yardage. We're picking up on the theme here, Ricky. And again, the offensive line does a good job. This time he's touched and has to lower his pads and get in the end zone. But a good job by the whole line and Malcolm getting in the end zone. Time winding down. Ahmad Brooks thinking, man, I said 85% chance of a <laughs> shutout. No, there it goes. What'd you think about this, though? 12 seconds, no timeouts for Kansas. They bring pressure. And that sets up a field goal. Well, it just puts a lot of strain on the cornerback, but you're used to that if you play on the island. And Duke Thomas there wishes he had that one back. So for the first time in the span of four games, it's not Texas that's scoring the last points before the half. And then the second half opens up with Kansas trying to get a touchdown on the board for the first time. Big play there. Oh, shake you very much. No, not this time. It's off the post and in, but still, it's a red zone field goal instead of a red zone touchdown. It's 14 to 6. Okay. That's something we have not seen. Yeah. Four sack allowed and 11 quarters. And on the same drive, McCoy dodged one sack and also almost threw an interception on another pressure play. But you need a spark. This was the game changer right here, fellas. This is when the whole momentum shifted in this game. Go big one boy. possession game, all the. Now it's 21-6. Chicken fingers me up. <laughs> Come on. And Chris you know, Wiley, give me those. And the way this defense is playing, you know, you know, you stay after an offense, you stay after an offense, you stay after an offense. They're gonna give up, they're gonna give up a big play. And intentionally, these guys are going after the football when they're getting to the quarterback. Quandre Diggs, Cedric Reed, Jackson Jeff Coat. Coaches are teaching that and players are listening. Third and three. What do you expect? Marcus Johnson. Of course. Beautiful. Why would it not be David Green? Well, I thought they maybe should have done it more today. He was my impact player. And oh. They've got that connection. <laughs> well, I thought they should have gone to Mike Davis and completed some more passes more because he was my impact player. But yeah, yeah. Rub it into all of us, Malcolm Brown, because Ricky Williams picks Malcolm. The second effort. Well, I mean, you saw the second effort on the on the third and two big conversion there to keep the chains moving. And then on fourth, fourth down, I think it was he got in the end zone. The great second effort. Uh, I got to make the tackles. Michael Thompson doing that. Adrian Phillips banged up on the play. And you see Adrian gets yanked right there. Hip hurting him. Goes to the sideline to get checked out. But he's been battling various elements to his credit. He keeps on coming out and playing. And he made some big plays. Big stop on third down in the red zone. Fourth and one. Why not get them all, Ahmad? All four of us could have ran through this hole. The offensive line just completely opened it up there. Case nearly down, but he gets it off in the nick of time, and then Malcolm Brown just did what he did all game, get in the end zone. How about all four of those runs off the left side as well? Ooh, it was predictable, enough. but they couldn't stop it. Yeah, and Coach Brown has talked about that. That's the strength of the offensive line. With Hawkins and Hopkins over there, yeah. left tackle and left guard. Swoops, there it is. Picking up first down. Texas wins 35 to 13. It's now 11 and 0 in Big 12 play against the Kansas Jayhawks. They are better against Kansas than any opponent they play in the Big 12. Malcolm Brown, 20 carries, 119 yards, four touchdowns. He has six rushing touchdowns over the past two games.